Hey everyone, it's Alex. Just wanted to stop by today and say hi, give you some encouragement, and also give you some resources that you can use in the up upcoming weeks. And so my hope is that in the midst of everything going on, as we begin to see kind of the light at the end of the tunnel, um, that you're still finding your hope in Christ and that we're not putting it in all of the other things, good or bad, that are happening, but instead that we're turning our eyes towards Christ. And I was reminded in, in a devotional that I did uh, the other day with Louis Giglio um, about how in Second Chronicles, when Jehoshaphat and and the people are facing uh, a battle against uh, against some other nations. In the middle of that, they realize that it's God's battle to fight, not theirs. And so when they entered battle, they didn't take up positions of strength and battle, but instead they took up positions of worship. And as they worshiped, God delivered them. And so my prayer is, too, that we can take up a stance of worship, that together in the midst of all of this, we can be finding ways to worship God and putting that at the forefront. And in the middle of that, ver uh, that chapter, um, we read this, right? We don't know what to do, but we fix our eyes on you. And so God's people in the middle of a time when they weren't sure what was coming next or what was going to happen, looking at it, uh, an enemy around them that seemed bigger than what they could handle, they fixed their eyes on Jesus. And so my hope is that together we can do that. And in doing that, I want to equip you with some resources, especially if you have kids at home or maybe grandkids that you're uh, interacting with during this time, some resources that you can use to help fix our eyes on Jesus. And so the first one I sent out a few weeks ago was this Everyday Family Faith book. It's a, a book that was produced by our denomination um, that has been a good tool. So each day you can go through and do different things, talking about uh, different faith questions that you can be answering together, different activities of things that you can do to point your eyes towards Jesus. If you didn't get one of these and you want one, feel free to shoot me an email and I can definitely get you a copy sent out. The second thing that I have is the sermon notes. So if you are watching online sermons uh, in the middle of this time, then these are this is a good resource to help keep kids engaged. Sometimes it's hard to keep them engaged in an online service. And so this is just a way that they can have their eyes opened uh, to some of the things that are happening in that service and to fill out something like this. And if your kids are filling this out for our service, feel free to send me a picture of this and I will send them um, a little a little something in the mail um, just kind of because uh, I love to see what they're seeing and hearing in the middle of those sermons in the middle of those services this is available um, online as well and then the last thing that I want to talk to you about is there is an organization called the Center for Parent and Youth Understanding and it's a faith-based organization that helps parents have conversations with their kids uh, about their faith and it also equips us as parents to be thinking about some of the ways that our kids are viewing the world, some of the things that our kids might be struggling with uh, that we didn't have experience when we were growing up. And so it's a good resource to help equip us as parents to lead our children in their faith. And what they've come out with is something called Family Table Talk. And what it is, it's a daily devotional that helps you to dig into scripture, to think about scripture together, maybe a small like meditation portion, and then to apply that to your own lives, uh, and then also to pray together. And so this is a daily resource that they're coming out with in the middle of everything happening with COVID-19. And so what I have done is I've taken all of these resources and some other resources that we have available to us, and I've put them into a Google Drive folder. And so the uh, link to that folder will be attached to this video. We'll also send it out um, on Facebook, Instagram, and probably through the church email as well. And it's just really a good tool for us to think together about how are we leading our kids in their faith during this time. Because I really believe that in the middle of all of this, God is giving us the opportunity to have conversations with our kids about their faith that will make a lasting impact for the rest of their lives. And for some of us, we're seeing our kids, we're being together with our families more than we ever have, um, and we need to take advantage of that time and having conversations about our faith. And so there will be a whole bunch of resources in that folder, and I'll continue to add some as, as we get more of those. Uh, and if you have any to share that you've been using that have been good, feel free to share those as well. And together, we'll continue to grow our faith 
uh, and the faith of our children and grandchildren and generations to come. And so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you have any things that are happening in your home that you're like, this is just a struggle, this is something that we want to talk about or process through or whatever that might be, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to have those conversations. Um, I'm missing you and your kids. Um, I'm missing being together at youth group and middle school youth group. And I know cadets and GEMS counselors and Sunday school teachers are all feeling the same way. And so we look forward to the day that we can be back together. Um, but until then, we'll use resources like these to help us build our faith. And so I'm looking forward to hearing from you how these resources make a difference and help to have those conversations. So we'll talk to you again soon and hope you guys are all doing well.